All right, y'all. So the Brooklyn Lobster CEO is accused of stealing from black entrepreneurs with fake franchises. Okay, I've never eaten there. I'm from New York, but I heard about it. I heard it was good. So anyway, Rodney Barnes, the CEO of Brooklyn Lobster, a popular seafood franchise in Brooklyn, is under fire, y'all. Okay, he is being accused of scamming investors out of over $300,000. They're also saying that he targeted black women. He targeted black female entrepreneurs alleged, uh, with this alleged scam, y'all. Okay, so they're saying that, you know, he's going right to the women. I guess these women are chefs or they're cooks and they just want to start a business and he's going to them. Now, the Brooklyn Lobster franchise reportedly got its start in the thick of the pandemic with help from investors nationwide. However, in recent months, multiple individuals have alleged that bonds tricked them into fraudulent deals. Now, one person said, I did an, an initial investment of $46,000, explaining that she invested her money into a location in Queens in 2021. He claimed that he had bought flat screens and he had bought some chairs and that's all he did. So for eight months, Bonds alleged that he was paying $9,000 in rent for the location, according to Ms. Bradley. This proved to be untrue. So Mr. Bonds pocketed around $200,000 allegedly, right? So in 2022, the New York Attorney General's office revealed that BK Lobster was never registered to sell franchises within or from the state of New York. So in response, Bonds told the restaurateur, Ms. Bradley, that he could not return her money due to tax complications, right? So Bradley reportedly filed a lawsuit against Mr. Bonds, accusing him of intentionally stealing her money. Okay. Now this is a very hairy situation, right? And I get it. You know, you know, we all as people of color, people just in general, we want to start a business. You know, we don't want to work for other people. We want to start a legacy of our own. And then we allegedly have someone that's coming through running a scam. Now, collectively so far, it has been tallied up to a be about $300,000 that he owes various people. Okay. Now think about it. You know, some people you are going into their 401k, right? Some people tapping into that 403b because they want to start a business because look, is that not the American dream? We want to work for ourselves and have our own business to pass down to our children, our families. So what do you think about Mr. Rodney Barnes? Do you think that he outwardly went out to like just defraud people and scam people? Or do you think it was an honest mistake and he really didn't know the laws of opening franchises in New York? Jump in the comments. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, if you like what you hear, you know to do. Like, share, subscribe. Ciao.